Nidhi Gupta and I come from America, Houston, Texas. I came all the way especially for this Young Tinker Academy because I heard about it and I was really excited. My first impression was, oh god, this is going to be a science academy. All these geniuses are, are sprouting from here. When I heard about the NASA Mars rover challenge, I was impressed that such young students are doing such great things and creating all this stuff. My experience here was like, you know, the Buddha enlightenment, there's four stages, right? It was like the first stage there. It gave me a whole vast new introduction to how to actually use tools, how to see things from a different perspective. And how did I do that? I learned so many skills here that I haven't even learned in the classroom. Like, not just confidence building, but leadership too. Like, for example, we learn skills like how to do drilling. The drilling everyone knows, right? But shouldering too, learning how to use a 3D printer. And we don't just use how to use a 3D printer. We learn why do we use a 3D printer, how to assemble a 3D printer. We go in so much depth. And now we understand that how from a 3D printer you can create so much, such big products and through those products you can create more products like we created there was a bionic hand that is made from se separate parts so all that is very intriguing to me and like leadership skills we learned we form groups and we learn how to market ourselves we learn branding so what is branding I thought it's oh you just create a name but no it's the way you present stuff the different colors you use, the font you use, and then the content you use to market it. We learn the whole procedure through that. So what is different about this academy is that they don't just teach you how to do something. They teach you why you do that. And they teach you all the skills that surround it. Like if you're learning how to do practical hands-on, they teach you design alongside. They teach you how to your vocational skills improve. How do you express it to the other audience? It was, it was a really good experience because the students here, they help you grow. They don't judge you or compare with each other. So if you were, we were making, we were doing three projects, ultrasonic car, uh, IR sensor car and a Bluetooth car. I was here new year, right? And I didn't know how to make anything. So they guided me which wire do you put where, what is the wire, a female wire, female end to male end. They gave me all the details and then alongside they helped build my confidence level because they explained everything. So skills I gained here was like self-esteem and how was that? Well, there was many things I did here which I wouldn't do in an ordinary like camp, right? So for example, we gave, I learned how to give a tour of this academy. Now giving a tour is not a hard thing, but going into every detail. Why did we create a pegboard and what is the purpose of the pegboard? Why did we hang specific materials and not other materials? How does that affect the user or the customer who is looking at it? So we went through the whole thought process. Yes, I faced challenges like when we, when I was creating the robot, like the IR sensor robot, there was many challenges I faced like why is this wire plug in, plugged into here and why is the code not working? So after that, the teachers here are very, very nice and they helped me, like they explained the code, the reasoning behind why does ground connect to ground, why does uh, VND, like VNN connect to VIN, like all those reasons, ground connects to ground because you need a balance level. So they explained the code, the different numbers, how you can arrange this number goes to this number and went into detail. It changed me as a person just like you gave water to a flower, it gave water to me. This helped me as a life experience because now I am confident in creating, like if I want to create a product, I'm not going to be like, oh products the only engineers create. Everyone is an engineer, you just have to use your brain in a way where you can create and if you know how to use a circuit like we were taught here, circuit diagrams, then we can actually create products and in the future this can help our nation. Actually, when we came here, we were very, I was very confused actually what to do, like what I want to be. And here, Anil sir went through a career pathway for us. He didn't tell us what we should be. He just asked us, why do you want to be what you want to be? What is the reason? And I was like, I wanted to be a doctor, right? Go into the medical, save people's lives. But then 
I thought I can do something bigger. This is what everyone does, but it's not creating anything. So because he made me think that through the process of why I want to do what, I started to think there's so many problems in the world, like climate change, for example. And so I, I have been a big factor in climate change, like no plastic using. And so then I thought if I can create such a program where I can help create awareness about health, about climate change, such factors, then I got some clarity in my mind that I want to do something in this type of field. I always thought that engineering is boring, you just sit on the laptop, but now I like know that when you use, when you create products, you can actually use those products to help other things. For example, there is a, a machine, there is a, like a technology here which is, you can put it in the water, it's like made out of tubes, you put it in the water and it's created out of waste material and then it picks up litter from the water. So I was like, if you can create projects like that, which are at low cost effect efficiency, then you can save lives, you can save money and you can create mass results. Once I start applying it to myself about how to tinker, how to repair, improve, manage, fidget. Even in America, students don't know how to use 3D printers. They just click, send it to the printer and it prints. They don't know the whole structure, why it works the way it works. So students are given an awareness about how things work, how technologies came about, the origin. Then they will, there was, there will be a great amount of uh, production that can be made. So in US, say we can create a tinkering academy, a program, a club which can help students gain knowledge about the why reason. If we start applying what we apply here at Young Tinker Academy where we do hands-on stuff when the teacher teaches you a concept about science, about electricity, how the circuit works. If we do that in real life like we do here, it's a totally different experience and you actually learn like I was taught in chemistry class how a circuit works, how atoms work, but I don't care about any of that until I came here and I learned the reason. Also, it connects here because it connects here the reason behind it. What's unique about Young Tinker is not just what they teach here, but the teacher who teaches here. The teacher, the way they teach here, even in America, the teachers there. Yes, they might not teach you right from the book, but they don't teach you in a passionate way. Like, there's very few teachers there too. Here, Young Tinker, the way they teach you, the passion they teach you with is what is the most unique thing to me. Having hands-on practical application is a very essential skill that is necessary because when you learn stuff, it just goes through your brain. But when you do with your hands, it goes to your full body. You get the energy to you know how to do it. So if you know, if you can do it, it's like your muscle memory. Your brain memory is not enough. When you have muscle memory, muscle memory converts to brain and muscle memory, which gives you a better way to learn. Bhubaneswar is an amazingly beautiful and green place. It is like our Costa Rica in South America, but people don't aren't aware of it. When I came here, it's like the whole of India, this area is full of temples. It's full of greenery. The temples here are were untouched and so they're original. The architecture is just beautiful. People in Odessa, they just are so nice to you. You ask them for directions, they give you directions and there are many beautiful places to visit here too like Lingraj. So it's an amazing experience here. There's many cultural forms like art forms like dance like Odyssey. When we went to the Bural village, a woman team, all three of us went, Vaishali ma'am, me, Ayusha ma'am. We learned how to set up a pegboard together and she was very helpful in how to set up a pegboard, how to set up a tinkering station and the purpose of a pegboard, how to make a peg. She taught me how to make a metal peg from galvanized iron. That was really cool. And I've used it at home before but it was like the pressure you had to put it at, the angles you had to do it at was very unique and the bench wise machine we learned how to make the pegs, the 3D printed pegs on the pegboard. I would highly recommend you, go, you guys to come to Young Tinker Academy. Coming from US all the way to Bhubaneswar, it will not just help your college, college application, but it will build you as an individual. And it will help you create things in the future and create products and be unique and not just be like everyone else. 
from the first day to the last day the difference i feel is like i am a young picker 